Hey, so well, I recently managed to get a Commodore MPS 801, which is the matrix printer for the Commodore 64. Um, I also got a couple of these um, cassettes, or yeah, ribbon cassettes. Uh, what they basically are, well, they are your um, ink cartridges, and here is the ink, and then the ink runs over the uh, tape here. And basically this thing moves all of the way and brings uh, fresh ink to uh, the printer. Now also, uh, this is the only one which you gave me which worked. Only thing I had to do is refill the ink. But uh, most uh, things I have are like this. Now normally this is not a problem if the uh, tape comes out completely. Because you could normally uh, turn on this little wheel here and the tape would go back in. But as you can see, absolutely nothing is happening. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can repair one of these um, cassettes and even refill the tiny cartridge in here, which can just be removed like so. Okay, so well, the things you need, of course, are a scalpel. I'm using a scalpel because it's nice and thin. I can get easier into the whole cassette assembly. And what else you will need is a uh, syringe. I'm using, uh, I already have got the ink in there. It's just basic regular uh, printer ink which I'm using. And uh, that works quite well. And the last thing you will need is some super glue. Why? I will explain that later. The first thing I am going to do is open up the uh, cassette and then I will uh, refill the small ink uh, container here. Now to open the cassette I'm using the skipper and you have to try to get in between the two halves. And then just pry it carefully open. Should pop up, everything should pop open quite uh, easily. There we go. Now if we take a close look in here, this is the small wheel which transports the ink to the tape and will also move the tape. That gets uh, turned in the printer down here. And as you can see, sometimes uh, if I have the cover removed it works, but most of the time absolutely nothing is happening. So, if we take a closer look at uh, this, and if I gently hold uh, the rubber in place, you will see that the rubber is not moving and I'm not, I'm just touching this entire thing very gently. And now this is where you will need the super glue. What you are basically going to do is just put a tiny bit of super glue in there so that the rubber can be held in place and will not move. Okay, well, there we go, and um, now we'll let that dry, and while we'll uh, let that dry, we'll uh, show you how you can refill um, the tiny canister here. What basically you do is you take your uh, syringe, normally you would have a jar well, or something where you would have the ink in and just fill it up. I use about half or one uh, milliliter for that. I have 1.5 milliliters in here and what you're basically going to do is just insert the syringe into, into the uh, entire thing. Could be a little bit difficult of getting it in there. There we go. And yeah, just basically... Oops.
blow the entire thing up. And try not to make a mess like I just did. But that happens when you refill these things. But if I uh, got to take care that the sponge in the front is good soaked. And that's basically all you need to do. Also, I just forgot that you have to make sure that you even get the super glue underneath that uh, small piece of uh, rubber. Because sometimes it will not hold on the sides. That's where the scaper comes in handy again. Until you can really look down there and then just insert the glue there. And that should work. Also, there is a piece of plastic in here which needs to be modified a bit because since we've added now a glue on there, it is a bit thicker than before and what could happen is either the entire thing will not move at all or it would just scratch off all the glue and then we would have the same problem as before. So I'm just using my scalpel and just making I have the cut in here a little bit bigger and that should work fine. Also you might want to increase the size of the holes a little bit. Or you can just do something similar and cut these pieces of plastic in here. And there we go. Because these things, they must be pretty loose in there. And just hold everything in place and what this piece of plastic basically does is controls the tape so that it can't go just flying all over the place or get stuck in there somewhere. What you do now is you take your tape and reinsert it. And don't even try to make it fit in here. This thing does it all by itself, so. And there we go. That's one side. Now the other one. That should do it. Now if you are at this part, you just basically have to put everything back together. Everything will hold itself back, back in place. And if we spin, if we turn this thing now, the tape should just go in like normal. Okay, mine got stuck. Let's see why. Okay, so it was it somehow got stuck with that metal piece here. But we'll just have to repeat everything and that should be it. And there we go, let's hope that this does not happen again. Now and everything is back in place. 
and the tape moves correctly. And that's how you repair one of these. What you do now is you take your refilled plastic container here, insert that, and make the tape run around a few times. Okay, that should hopefully be enough. Okay, what I'm going to do now is insert the program refill the cartridge. And that is basically the easiest thing to do. Just open up the cover of your printer. And just snap it in there and make sure that the tape does not get stuck somewhere. And as you can see, I've got some new old stock. And with paper, just one sheet. So I can test it. The camera closer so you can see what I'm doing. This could get a bit noisy. good. And let's have a look at the sheet. And that is almost as good as a needle printer can go. And we have uh, everything. All the symbols the Commerce 64 supports printed on here very nicely. And well, yeah, that's basically how you refill and repair your cartridge. Hope that could help some people. And the last thing, which I would recommend, what you do after every single usage of the printer. Get yourself a bag and a clip. Remove your cartridge with the tape. Put it in the bag. Also these things, if you have refilled them. Make sure to get as much air out of the bag as possible. Close it with the clip, and now the ink shouldn't dry out as fast as if you would leave it in there. That's basically all.